US Army on Thursday unveiled a prototype of its next generation armored war tank at the Detroit Auto Show, marking a major step in modernizing one of the military's most iconic vehicles. The new tank, known as the M1E3 Abrams, is designed to meet changing battlefield demands with advanced technology, improved mobility and enhanced protection. Army officials said that the M1E3 includes new high-tech components, counter-drone protection systems and sharper off-road handling. These upgrades are aimed at ensuring the tank can operate effectively in modern combat environments where threats are faster, more complex and increasingly driven by emerging technologies. The current version of the Abrams tank dates back to the 1970s and while it has undergone multiple updates over the decades, the US Army says a more comprehensive redesign was needed to keep pace with today's military needs. The MIE-3 addresses the challenge by introducing a hybrid electric engine and AI-assisted capabilities that help crews identify battlefield threats more quickly and accurately. The prototype incorporates components from Caterpillar and was built by Michigan-based engineering firm Rouge. If the program moves forward as planned, potential production would take place at General Dynamics Land Systems Plant in Lima, Ohio. According to the Army, the next steps for the MIE-3 will focus on continued development and evaluation as the service works towards bringing the next-generation Abrams closer to the operational use. The M1A2 Abrams is the best tank in the world. It is the most lethal tank in the world and it has been since the 70s. But imagine if the iPhone, after the first iteration, had never added anything else. It just did text messaging and it just did phones and it was the best in the world at doing texting and phone calls, but it never had the App Store. This has the App Store. You have customizable screens in your cars now. You have sensors that provide safety features. You have things that augment the driver. And then the OEMs can monitor the progress or if you needed to connect to somebody in an emergency in 911. All those wonderful features, that's what changes on the tank going forward. We can now take derivatives of all that technology and put it in the hands of soldiers. What I think is truly magical about the M1E3 is as we think about what uh, robots bring to the battlefield, as we think about what drones bring to the battlefield, this tank is connected so that the crew inside of it can leverage robotics, can leverage drones from the safety of the tank, and they don't have to be the first thing in the fight. When we did this, we didn't want to change things that worked, right? So how the protection scheme works and how it moves and all those, those things. But in a connected world, in a world of drones, we absolutely had to advance what we consider our open systems architecture. It needs a digital front end. America's next first battle should not be humans first. It should be us trading blood for steel, and it should be our robots going in first. We should be protecting our warfighters um, with technology like the E3 so that as many drones and robots as possible can be controlled from something like this. The digital controls now mirror the gaming environment. The training time is significantly reduced. A 13-year-old could probably learn how to drive this thing faster than I could, truthfully, and that's exactly what we want. And then provide them all of the artificial tools that come with advanced chips, whether it's NVIDIA or Qualcomm or pick your US chip manufacturer. We bring all that to bear to increase our efficiency, the connectivity, and the lethality and the protection of the platform to make sure that when we deploy soldiers, they can go overseas, execute the mission, and we bring everybody home alive. In the current warfare, mobility is safety. Um, there's a misperception that the tank is supposed to sit idly by and protect you from everything. What we have seen in Ukraine, what we have seen in, in the Middle East, is that if you are sitting too long, you will be a targeted and, and you will not survive. So being able to have 50% reduction in fuel need for the same mission profile, that's part of safety and survivability. Everyone around the world should walk away going, hey, the United States Army, they, that we do not want to trifle with them. I mean, first of all, it's a tank. So like everybody likes to see tanks. I feel it's like, especially every guy would like to see a tank. And I think it's, it's good to see how they're bringing business back into Detroit using uh, American businesses to, you know, outfit the tank. You know, 
I, I myself play a lot of video games. We have a driving sim at home. So if it's anything like that, I feel like the newer generations with all the hours they've played online, I think they definitely could have an advantage in, in driving these tanks.